Hey guys, welcome back to my channel sharing with you a week in my life here. Being a vegetable lover, I try to get whatever fresh leafy veggies I see when I visit Indian stores. Here I have bought this cold rabi also known as nap or gordo in konkani. I'll be preparing a simple stir fry tomorrow so cutting it and keeping it in the fridge. Next day, I went out to get some groceries. We also wanted to get duplicate keys as we lost one set, so went to Safeway. It's so easy and convenient to get duplicate keys here. We just had to insert our key here in the machine and it copies the design of the key. Then we have to make payment and the keys dispense within minutes. How convenient! Then we bought some fruits and also we got some crabs as we wanted to prepare crab masala also called kulyacha tonak in Konkani. We got some fresh crabs. You can pick as many crabs you want from this lot and they clean and cut it for you. They also have a variety of shellfish. We spotted tiny gulio here. I don't know what they, uh, they are called in English but we call it gulio in Konkani. They even had cut and clean crabs ready for purchase. The variety of items you find here leaves me amused. I prepared crab masala on Saturday and on Sunday I prepared kohlrabi bhaji or kadyachi bhaji. It's a simple and healthy recipe without any masalas. Temper some mustard seeds and hing. Then add chopped onion and green chilies, saute it for a minute and close the lid so that the onion turns soft. Once the onion turns soft, add the cut nab or cold rabi along with the leaves and a fistful of soaked tur dal. Mix it well and close the lid. I saved some of the cut cold rabi for tornak, that is the masala curry. If you are Goan, you must have had this dish. It's just like any other masala curry. Uh, prepared in Goa but a bit mild. Then add some water to the bhaji and allow it to cook. Then add salt and garnish it with grated coconut. The bhaji is ready to be served. I also prepared nabache tona for which I have pressure cooked nab and potatoes with salt for two weasels. For the gravy, I roasted half chopped onion. Once it turns translucent, add one cup of freshly grated coconut, roast it till it turns golden brown, then add five gloves and switch off the gas. Then add turmeric powder, half chopped tomato and mix well. Let this cool and grind it to a fine paste. Transfer the cooked knob and potatoes to a karai. Add half chopped onion to it and 1 tablespoon of garam masala. Mix it well and let it cook for 1-2 to two minutes. Then add the ground paste, adjust the salt and it's ready to serve. It was a long weekend so next day I prepared sattu and ate avocado sandwich for breakfast. America celebrates its Independence Day on 4th of July and hence the long weekend. So 
so people plan trips during this time we didn't have anything planned so we decided to do a beach day just like how we do it in goa during summers Since it was a long weekend there was a lot of traffic everywhere and we decided to go to Capitola beach is just 2 hours away from where we stay and has a great vibe there are restaurants on the beach where you can have your food with great view of the beach there are beautiful painted houses across the beach which looks like a street from europe so we had our lunch at zelda's then we soaked up in the sun after a great lunch read a book and also dipped our feet in the cold water it was so much fun So on Tuesday that is 4th of July I prepared mushroom masala also called as armyachai tornak in Konkani I prepared it using baby bella mushrooms washed and chopped the mushrooms in a pot add oil add one chopped onion and cut mushrooms and saute it for 2 3 minutes then close the lid and allow it to cook for a minute it will leave some water then add 1 tablespoon of garam masala add water and let it cook till the mushrooms turn soft and tender once the mushroom turns tender add the ground paste i will leave the details of the same in the description i just salt add tamarind pulp and garnish it with chopped coriander i also fried some flour that is cauliflower florets and later that evening we went for 4th of july uh, event which was at mountain view which ended with a beautiful display of fireworks